How you guys doing? One, two, three. Hey, how you guys doing? It's your boy Amari. I'm here at the very first Bronx NYC Comic Con in the Bronx. I'm here with a very special guest on my left hand side, the one and only Dan Stoppel, Ray Felix. How you doing, Ray? Hey, I'm your mediocre guest. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm okay. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, man. You know, thanks for coming here. Thanks for being here. Um, so I noticed you have some 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 brand new product on the table t today, and also a, a trade paperback as well. Yeah, yeah, we're always trying to keep it fresh, keep it live. You know, we got punchline number, volume number two. You know, we got volume number three coming out soon. But we got volume number two ready. Because you know, of the pandemic and everything, I wanted to come out strong. Because of the whole like Marvel and DC thing, well not Marvel and DC <laughs> punchline. <laughs> Let's refrain from that. Uh, we got both volumes of punchline. You know the story we talked about it before. So you just got to try to stay ahead of the the corporate giants and trying to keep our product out there fresh and keep people aware of what's going on. I heard a rumor that in the punchline um, trade paperback that you have out now, there's a special gallery in the back of the book. That's right, and you drew an, uh, a drawing in there. That's right. Thank you very much. It's, it's behind-the-scenes artwork, man. So um, is, what's so special about the gallery? Please tell us. Well, the gallery is um, a combination of different artists, mostly my stuff, but different artists uh, that worked on the book. And what's revealing about it is that actually some of the original drawings that were submitted to D.C. during the actual... Um, um, promotion, the solicitation of it, uh, when I gave the book to um, an, uh, a well-known editor in DC that's no longer with us. <laughs> Gotta respect the dead, you know. But <laughs> can't speak foul of the dead. That's bad luck. But you know, when he was alive, I mentioned his name. He's dead. I'm not gonna talk about him anymore. But you know, so just uh, just to show the the running history of how this project was a book that was submitted to DC Comics how it was rejected, and how here we are today, uh, you know, um, trying to put it out and let people know, make them aware, like, hey, this was a Bronx Heroes product 15 years before it was a DC product, so. Nice, nice. I also noticed that you have some amazing t-shirts on the table. You want to talk about that for us a little bit? Yeah, um, before the pandemic, uh, the Bronx Heroes, we were coming out with these multicolor shirts. For the summer, you know, we always want people to feel energetic. In the past, we had done some color shirts back in the days of the comic convention. Then we had these shirts done in multicolor. My favorite color is black, of course. Uh, and, of course, the, the will not yield to evil hoodies. You know, we only have it's the last one. <laughs> so it's like uh, um, always just trying to, like, uh, show my Bronx pride and my love for the Bronx and... You know, you see everyone, you know, you always have these shirts that say the Bronx or the Bronx or the BX or oh, the Bronx is burning or I just want positive vibes about the Bronx. So I want people to wear the Bronx with pride and feel that there is something good about the Bronx because there is. There's a lot of good about the Bronx and we should all be heroes. We're all Bronx heroes. You live in the Bronx, you're a hero, you know, so. Okay, okay. Well, that's nice. You got the T-shirts, got the trade paperback. Um, I'm sure you have other plans that you cannot discuss yet, but anything big coming up in the, for the future? Like, seriously big, super big. Um, yeah, Trevor Von Eden's Black Power number 5. I could talk about that because I've been posting it on Instagram. It's the, the near to the end conclusion of the Black Power series, the first arc. So that is, like, super exciting. It took us 12 years to get here um, for a variety of reasons. <laughs> but... That, uh, Brother Lone Star number two, uh, Unk number three and four, those are all done. They're just in, in the coloring process. Um, we got um, Punchline Volume 3. That's uh, on its way out to us right now. Runaway Slave 2. Uh, actually, part Runaway Slave 2, Part 2. That's been sitting... For 10 years drawn <laughs> and I haven't put it out because I just want to get you know I want to up my game you know black and white uh, it's not a big seller even though it's funny it's coming back around but I just want everything in color so <laughs> that's why it takes longer to uh, in other words he wants to do the work right right you got to do it right 
World Without Superheroes Volumes 2 and 3. That's also on the way. So we got a lot of stuff coming. Before you know it, we're going to have... You're going to have to have three tables full of books of different stuff because we have so many different products. And the return of Bronx Hero Soda. So Bronx Hero Soda, Bronx Pop. Uh, Nick from Bronx Pop is teaming up with me again. And we're going to re-release Bronx Heroes uh, and a Bronx Pop uh, collaboration coming up soon. Nice, nice, man. I also heard there may be a potential team up with you, a certain independent creator, but unfortunately the meeting ha we're still waiting for the meeting to happen and we're waiting for the guy to show up. All right, so we'll see what happens with that, but that would be interesting. Very oh, interesting. A brain child there. Yeah, I instigated the entire event. Hopefully, you know, um, the two great minds will come together and make it happen. Yeah, it'll be like Basquiat and Andy Warhol coming together doing a masterpiece. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, Ray, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being here. I wish uh, Bronx Heroes more success. And, you know, hopefully we'll see some of these characters on the big screen one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will. We're going to make it happen one way or the other. Yes, yes, yes. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, um, see you around. Bye-bye. Don't forget, Bronx Heroes, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and your mother's house. <laughs>